Memorial Day services took place in Hopkinton. The ceremonies started at the Evergreen Cemetery, followed by the Veteran Memorial locations on Mayhew Street. Here are some sights and sounds from throughout the day. Memorial Day should and ought to have a significant meaning for all Americans. Regardless of your politics or religious beliefs, one certainly has to be respectful and admiring of those who are willing to die for a cause they believe in. Maybe not a popular cause or even a belief held by the majority, but a personal conviction held by that individual. This is the time and the occasion we pause to become conscious of our past and acknowledge the men and women who gave their lives defending our country. A country committed to battle the evil in this world. A country founded under the principles of basic human rights. And a country where each grave will fall in soldier may also represent the family and the children that never were. After the services at the memorial locations, the parade led by the American Legion marched over to the town common to honor those who have served in the United States Armed Forces. Bless them and their families for the selfish acts they performed for us in our time of need and grant us all peace, both as individuals and as the world community. But then when we ask the person who, that said this is not Hopkinton, what is Hopkinton? They really couldn't say, but they would say, but this is not it. Well, I believe that this is it. This is Hopkinton. Hopkinton is more than an old building, a new building, a library, a town hall, center school, or even the Boston Marathon start. start. It's our community spirit. About 30 years or so ago, my sister who worked here said to me, John, do you want to see the real Hopkinton? I said, what, for the race? She said, no, the real Hopkinton. I'll pick you up at 9.30 on Memorial Day. She brought me here and I saw this. I saw all of you. I felt all of you. I was sucked into the feeling of community and family. This is Hopkinton. This is the spirit of the fabric of our town and our country. Like many have said before, we could all be someplace else on this long holiday weekend, sleeping late, fishing, enjoying brunch, However, it is so important and wonderful that we all continue to gather this one day to show our appreciation for those who fought and those who made the ultimate sacrifice. And that no matter how wealthy or technologically advanced our world becomes, there will always be the need for some to suffer grievously as individuals so that collectively the rest can live in safety and security. This realization makes us appropriately somber and calls for reflection on days like this. However, at the same time, we must recognize that these sacrifices are even more tragic if we fail to fulfill our end of the bargain. Most of us will only briefly pass through history and will leave little mark. Those covered today by American flags made our history. The story of our nation is genuinely written with their blood. We owe them more. Our obligation is to take this nation forward from where they left it, to remain true to the principles they fought for, and to strive to do our part to make this a country that we continue to be proud of. Each of us must do something in our own way to honor these people by making our society stronger and ever more perfect. On this edition of HCAM News Focus, we will now show you more of the Memorial Day services as Hopkinton honored the veterans who have sacrificed everything for the safety and freedom of our country. We start off 
with ceremonies on Mayhew Street. Most of you in, are probably wondering why we do stop here every year, and uh, I did a little research. I wasn't able to find out all the reasons, but this is a, a flagpole that was uh, erected by the citizens of Hopkins in 1923 in the memory of Reverend James King, a uh, Civil War soldier who eventually made his home here in Hopkinton and uh, became the department chaplain of the uh, Massachusetts GAR. And the inscription read, read soldier, pastor, and friend. Uh, I'd like to, in the future, uh, find out more information about him because it, obviously at some point in time he was a very important citizen in this town. On the days leading up to Memorial Day, one is blessed to witness a visitor to a cemetery plot, maybe planting or watering flowers, brushing off the stone, contemplating life and the mystery of death. It seems as though every generation has to bury its young heroes before their time. Memorial Day should and ought to have a significant meaning for all Americans. Regardless of your politics or religious beliefs, one certainly has to be respectful and admiring of those who are willing to die for a cause they believe in. Maybe not a popular cause or even a belief held by the majority, but a personal conviction held by that individual. This is the time in the occasion we pause to become conscious of our past and acknowledge the men and women who gave their lives defending our country, a country committed to battle the evil in this world, a country founded under the principles of basic human rights, and a country where each grave of a fallen soldier may also represent the family and the children that never were. I want to take a moment, have everyone contemplate the 14 names that are inscribed up on the World War II monument up at the gazebo. It is said you become a man when you bury your, bury your father, and you become a gold star parent when you bury your child who was defending his country. This is truly the ultimate sacrifice. Celebrating Memorial Day every year reaffirms our faith in our nation and our way of life. On this day, as always, we will pause at the monuments and plaques in our town that serve as physical reminders of this day and its meaning. The memories and emotions that make this day will hopefully be passed on to those who follow us. Honoring the dead brings people closer than any other event in life sharing grief and remembrance of those we have loved and respected. And by honoring those who gave their lives each year on Memorial Day, we give a new life and rebirth to our American ideals and patriotic feelings. May the souls buried here and in other Hopkinton cemeteries feel the love and appreciation demonstrated by our community as we stand here information on Memorial Day. God bless all. We will now proceed to St. John's Cemetery. When you stop and you think about it, the people that have died and given their lives for our country have reached the fullest <coughs> expression of religious, of religious commitment. They've given their lives a uh, self-sacrifice, giving their lives for the sake of another. The Lord himself said at the Last Supper, no man has greater love than this, he laid down his life for his friend. In 1962, Admiral uh, General uh, Douglas MacArthur went to West Point. It was a very moving address. He gave that uh, the farewell address at West Point. And he emphasized to the cadets there the importance of virtue. And he mentioned it straight out front. Duty, honor, country. Every single one of those uh, cadets should embrace and embody and do their best to always have their minds and their hearts.
A big turnout was on hand for the conclusion of the Memorial Day ceremonies at the town common. Of all the people in Hopkinton that hold for all the veterans, I have a prayer for these veterans. Jesus, hold our troops in your loving hands and protect them as they protect us. Be, be with them and comfort them with your loving presence while they are away from their homes. You know, I just want to inject here. In, I came from New Bedford, Massachusetts, and my mother had seven blue stars in the window. And that was an indication of the hurt and the, and the heartfelt cause that we all were faced with. Bless them and their families for the selfish acts they perform for us in our time of need and grant us all peace both as individuals and as the world community and our world community needs a lot of prayer so get on your knees and pray grant us all peace both as individuals and as a world community. We ask this in your name with faith that you hear and answer all our prayers according to your will. Amen. We will now have the placing of the wreaths by the scouts of the American Legion at Lee Hughes Square, the Doughboy Statue, the World War II Monument, and the Town Gazebo. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives so that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far beyond our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these men, that these dead shall have not died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.
thank you everyone for coming. It, this is truly my favorite day in Hopkinton. Countless times while sitting on the planning board, doing a site plan review or zoning change or even trying to change the name of a, of a zone last year, we would hear the phrase, this is not Hopkinton. But then when we asked the person who that said this is not Hopkinton, what is Hopkinton? They really couldn't say, but they would say, but this is not it. Well, I believe that this is it. This is Hopkinton. Hopkinton is more than an old building, a new building, a library, a town hall, center school, or even the Boston Marathon start. It's our community spirit. About 30 years or so ago, my sister who worked here said to me, John, do you want to see the real Hopkinton? I said, what, for the race? She said, no, the real Hopkinton. I'll pick you up at 9.30 on Memorial Day. She brought me here and I saw this. I saw all of you. I felt all of you. I was sucked into the feeling of community and family. This is Hopkinton. This is the spirit of the fabric of our town and our country. Like many have said before, we could all be someplace else on this long holiday weekend, sleeping late, fishing, enjoying brunch. However, it's so important and wonderful that we all continue to gather this one day to show our appreciation for those who fought and those who made the ultimate sacrifice in service of our country to allow us to live and enjoy the other 364 days of the year. Yet we must also show appreciation and give thanks to our parents, relatives, teachers, mentors for instilling in us the importance of showing respect and showing reverence for this solemn day. This is a time of remembrance is, is particularly special to me. And as some of you know, just a year ago, I lost my mother, a resident of Hopkinton, who was a nurse in World War II. And I think my dad, who passed 12 years ago, who also, during the same war, was stationed aboard ship in the Pacific and serving as a landing craft pilot. He was engaged in many, many battles, including Iwo Jima. I'm so proud of all of that he did and she did in service of their community and country. And I thank them in prayer every day. So for next year, let's make a pledge. Let's make a pledge to do someone a favor, be it a new neighbor, an old friend, child, grandchild, by inviting them to see this, the real Hopkinton. This Hopkinton, and we hope to weave them into the warmth of our community and our family fabric. They will thank you as I now thank you, and have a great rest of the holiday. We will now have remarks from the Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Ben Palaco. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, I guess. Thank you all for coming today. It's always so nice to see such a terrific turnout, as my colleague just noted. I spent the first part of this weekend on a hiking trip up in uh, north with the Boy Scouts. On our way up and back, we drove on the Yankee Division Highway in Massachusetts, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Highway in Merrill's Marauders Bridge in New Hampshire, and the Grand Army of the Republic Highway in Vermont. Ours as a nation formed in war and indelibly marked in innumerable ways by the memories of all our many conflicts. The most poignant display, of course, is the legion of American flags that wave today in cemeteries across our nation, as well as in others around the world. The men and women lying beneath them are the strongest possible reminder that there are terrible costs that must be borne by a great nation such as ours, and that no matter how wealthy or technologically advanced our world becomes, there will always be the need for some to suffer grievously as individuals so that collectively the rest can live in safety and security. This realization makes us appropriately somber and calls for reflection on days like this. However, at the same time, we must recognize that these sacrifices are even more tragic if we fail to fulfill our end of the bargain. Most of us will only briefly pass through history and will leave little mark. Those covered today by American flags made our history. The story of our nation is genuinely written with their blood. We owe them more. Our obligation is to take this nation forward from where they left it, to remain true to the principles they fought for, and to strive to do our part to make this a country that we continue to be proud of. Each of us must do something in our own way to honor these people by making our society stronger and ever more perfect. Help a neighbor, volunteer for a town committee, contribute some time to a charity. 
The best way to recognize their total contribution to our history is to help build a better collective future through our partial contributions. This will be the best memorial of all and will truly earn each of us the right to look at all those flags fluttering in the breeze and feel honored to call ourselves worthy. May God continue to protect our men and women in harm's way and may he continue to shower his blessings upon our great country. Thank you. Please stand for the gun salute and the playing of taps. <laughs> 